What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back in another video on the channel. And today, brand new place, brand new vibes. I can't wait to try this. Anyway, we took it to Bonchon. It's a Korean fried chicken place located in Lodi, New Jersey. I have been told you have got to go here. You cannot believe how many times. And I don't know what took me, so I actually do. I usually don't eat until about 12 or midnight, and this place closes at about 8. So we left early because I wanted to get this. I wanted to get this content up for you. So if you're digging the content, you know the vibes. Hit a thumbs up, subscribe, cringy YouTube stuff. I don't know why I have to say it, but apparently you do have to say it. But let me take you through this lineup. I am super, super excited. I'm starting to drool. The smell of vision is real today. Let me start you off with some of the sides. We have got some popcorn shrimp over here done with some spicy mayo they look really good it looks like they didn't skimp on the shrimp which i'm really appreciative for then i've got a nice order of pork buns done with kimchi instead of coleslaw now i actually did it myself because i don't really like coleslaw but i love kimchi so i put kimchi in there as well as the spicy mayo it's pork belly on the inside i love 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 these pork buns are so soft and ah, let me shut up then i've got some bulgogi fried rice if you don't know what bulgogi is it is basically uh Usually done with beef. Sometimes they will do it with pork, but it's short rib um, done on the skillet, and they did it in my fried rice because I was told 14,000 times I had to get bulgogi fried rice. It was the one thing, as well as the wings, which everyone was separated on, but I'll get to those. Order of pot stickers. We've got soy garlic, which is one of their sauces, and spicy. I did half and half, which they do give you the option of doing. I really love that. So we did it on everything we possibly could. Order of onion rings because, well, you know me by now. If you don't, if you're new to the channel, hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you. My name is King. But we really, really love onion rings. And if we have onion rings on any menu, I have to try it. And of course, the pièce de résistance. I don't know why I said that in like French accent, but it doesn't matter. So I'm super excited. Nice order of the Korean fried chicken. They fry these twice, so I heard they're super crispy and super delicious. I got half and half again. Half soy garlic, half spicy. Some of you that you know, you guys do drop in the comments and and in the DMs on the Instagram. And you said you have to try soy garlic. Some of you said I have to try spicy. So I love the fact that the uh, the half and half option I really love. I don't like plain anything. They also have the option of plain, but we ain't doing that here. And of course, extra kimchi, which you see in the rest is in the pork buns. But first, before I get into anything, I do want to do a quick review with you guys because I said if anything new comes out, this was actually suggested to you by one of you. Uh, my man, Bob, I know you're watching. I know you're watching because you do watch and comment on every video, bro. You know the vibes. I had to get on these. You said, King, you've got to try these. These are goaded. So... We got some Snickers peanut brownie. Now they're done in fours. Snickers are probably my second favorite candy bar behind Reese's, which really aren't a bar, but you get what I'm saying. Candy, doesn't matter. They're done in fours, little squares. I'm a little square. What did I just say? Anyway, that's what it looks like on the outside. You don't know what Snickers are doing by now, but these are done with peanut and brownie. I loved M&M's brownie uh, M&M's. M&M's brownie, M&M's, that's really redundant. But M&M's had the brownie, I think they call them brownie batter or brownie something, but they had this fudgy, fudgy interior. This I'm expecting the same from, and if it has that same Snickers vibe, these are going to be goaded. But here we go, one time for your mind. Let's do it. And they do. Super dense fudge. Nice chocolate outside. You get the peanut. I'll give you an inside shot. So you get the peanut... And of course that caramel, it's kind of like they replaced the nougat in the Snickers bar with brownie. And in no way is that wrong. You weren't lying, man. I can definitely get down with these. I think Snickers bar, but replace the nougat with some delicious brownie fudge. That's a W in my book. These get a definite W. I'm just going with W or L and these are a definite W. Like a smack. I did get a lot of these, but I'm glad I did. If you see those, definitely W, pick those up. Oh my goodness. Just wanted to get that one out of the way for people. Want to see the reviews. Wow, that is really good. I'm going to have a few more of those for dessert. I'm sorry for smacking. If you don't know, I smack when I really like things. And I can't help it, but I'm trying to get better at it. But anyway, I'm going to start with the fried chicken. I have to start with the fried chicken. Because this is what they're known for. Twice fried. You can hear the crunch on them for sure. That's how you know. I love nice, crunchy, crispy fried chicken. And I believe these are the spicy. We'll see when we bite them, but. You saw my face when I bit it. Listen. Ooh. 
Wow. Wow. Super crispy as you can hear. The skin is just perfect texture. When you mix that with that inside, the chicken's nice and juicy because they twice fry it. I only heard of people doing that with fries. I never heard of it with chicken, but whatever they, I'm sorry for the smack, I heard it again. Whatever they did. Wow, that's a massive W. And those were the spicy. And I'll tell you what, the spicy actually has some spicy to it. It's not a weak spicy. You get a little bit, my tongue got a little spice on it. Obviously it's not unbearably spicy, which I don't expect, but it's definitely not like when you get like a spicy chicken sandwich at Wendy's, for example, or even the ghost pepper wings from Popeye's are less spicy than those wings, but good spice to it, good flavor. Almost got a little bit of sweetness going on with there too. That is a wing. That is a wing. I don't know how soy garlic's gonna top that, but we're gonna see. All right, soy garlic time. What are we saying? Oh, it's skin. Just listen again. I hope you got your headphones in. Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm gonna tell you what. Mm. Again, anybody who's new to the channel, there's some things in life that I just really, really love. And garlic. Garlic is one of them. I put garlic on almost everything I cook. The garlic flavor is there, and you get a little bit of that soy coming through in the background. Oh, God. And honestly, you could probably cover these chicken in any sauce whatsoever, and it's delicious because what they really do well is that skin. One time again, just listen for the vibe. Like, look at this piece right here. And you tell me, look at that bite. You see that bite right here? This is the yum yum. That, that's a, that's a W. And look how, how juicy that is on the inside. This is legit. I don't even, I didn't even get to anything. And I can't stop eating it. Wow, man. Wow. W, W. Mmm. I can't decide which one I like better because I absolutely love it. You could blindfold me and I would just do that in a second. Whatever. That skin. Oh my god. I'm glad I ordered as many wings as I did. I wasn't sure. A little on the price side. It's about 12 bucks for 10 wings. So, it's over a dollar a wing. I say this a lot. And I mean what I say. You get what you pay for. I'm probably gonna catch heat for this, but I did a Popeye's KFC eat, eating challenge, fried chicken for both. I take that boat on over, over Popeye's or KFC any day. Real talk. That just has that feel to it. That has that vibe to it. That is a different vibe that I'm used to. And I've used vibe so many times because I'm just, wow. Mm. I want to get into one of these too. Pork buns, pork belly. I love pork belly, spicy mayo. Kimchi. Did I get the, not the pork here? Let me just here get you a nice and porky bun. Look at that. I feel like Goku right now. I don't even watch Dragon Ball Z, but I know he eats these all the time. I'm expecting. Oh man, hold on. Spicy mayo too. My goodness. Look at this. The pork bun itself, oh, super soft. Melts in your mouth. You get that crunchy kimchi. Nice flavor from kimchi. If you never, kimchi is fermented cabbage, almost like sauerkraut. And I'm German, so that's my alley. And then you get that pork bun. So soft with the inside and that pork belly. You never had pork belly. It, it's basically like, like really, really thick, juicy bacon. I'm sorry to anybody who doesn't eat bacon or pork. My goodness, so let's get a little bit of that spicy mayo vibe. And what I noticed about their spicy mayo, same idea. Holy crap. What I really like about what they do, obviously the ingredients are super good, but I noticed that the spicy mayo 
is spicy. I know it's a stupid thing to say, duh, it's supposed to be spicy, but a lot of times I get spicy from places and they don't want to like have anybody think something's too spicy. So they try to appease the masses and they go really low on the spice level. This is just enough on that line where I think that people who like spicy food will like it enough. It's not really hot. Obviously, you can see I'm not like tearing up or anything, but it's good enough. I'm holding the shrimp too. That if you're a spicy person, you'll, you'll feel the spice in there, which is just what I want. Okay. Popcorn shrimp too. How to get in here. Yeah, those pork buns are just ridiculous though. I don't even care. All right, let's see. You hear the crunch. Big piece of shrimp. It's definitely meaty, breaded good, crunch is good. Then whatever they're doing with their frying stuff, oh man. I say oh man all the time, because the vibe is real. I said vibe 40 times today too, but I, I'm like, my flavor jets are just overloading. They're good by themselves. I love the crunch. The spicy mayo is off the chain. That tastes like somebody was in there by hand. And that's why I like, even though this is a franchise, it has the feel of someone making it homemade, which is, is just right up my alley. Even when they do franchises, sometimes franchises get too big and they start to lose that homemade feel to it. Even the way they put this together, like that looks like I got it from like a local spot and not a franchise, which I, mm. all right. Onion ring, y'all know what onion rings are. I don't have to introduce these, they no introduction. I just wanna try it. And you know I gotta get the spicy mayo on there. You know we gotta dunk and see if I'm not gonna spill anything on my table. But the sauce is so thick that it just, just coats it. That is thicky sauce. You know I'm team thicky too. I'm sorry, I burped. Oh boy, listen. Y'all lucky this isn't an ASMR video. This is perfect for that kind of stuff. The crunch is real. The breading is real. The onion ring was an actual onion. I don't like that minced onion product. I like real onion rings. This tastes hand dipped. Still has that homemade feel to it. And of course, the key to a good onion ring in my humble opinion is that crunch. And as you can hear, It is there. Wow. I would not like to take the time to humbly say that you guys are the goats. And every place you've recommended, you have not steered me wrong. And there was a lot of you in my DMs and in the comments throughout the videos. Thank you so much. Saying, King, you got to get to Bonchon. I'm telling you, go to Bonchon. Gorbanchan. I even had one of my clients telling me exactly what to order. <laughs> and y'all are some goats, man. Really, this is unreal. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Garlic soy pot stickers. I'm on overload right now. These are pork, by the way, not vegetable. Hey! Very meaty. Listen to this outside, they're fried. See what I'm saying? You can just look at the quality of the actual pot sticker and you can tell that this was not from a box. This was not flash frozen. And you can see the seam there as if somebody pressed this thing together. And it shows. It's unreal. The garlic soy sauce and the spicy sauce, I cannot decide between the two. And I think that's why they put half and half on the menu because it is really good. You know what I'm saying, what I mean when I say the seam, as if somebody just put this together. If they didn't, then GG's good job. You did a great job in fooling me in this homemade because, and there is enough meat in there that it's not a skimpy pot sticker. Sometimes, you know, they kind of skimp you in some places. I've ordered wontons or dumplings from places where you bite it and it's nothing but breading, or not breading, but the wrapper. This is not that. 
This eats like a meal. Unless you're me. Because I eat too much. Mm, this is really good. Let me get my spork out. Because I haven't even tried uh, these bulgogi fried rice. I'm just, I'm, on, I'm in heaven right now. You've seen it already. Bulgogi. It's got plenty of vegetables in there. Fresh looking vegetables for sure. Lots of egg. Lots of scallions. Lots of meat. That's, that's a, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow. Look again. That is really good. Oh. Yeah, we might have to run down this whole menu. Yeah, have a lot of different appetizers. I'm gonna have to try them all. We're gonna have to do it. Like, this is just what needs to be done. Did I just say, oh, Lord, help me? And the peppers. I love peppers. You can see one right there. Adds a little extra flavor to it. The scallions. It's not overly soyed. What I mean by that sometimes, you get fried rice and it's like really, really greasy. Again, this rice tastes like somebody actually made this. Like, scratch made. And it's a different kind of fried rice than I get from Chinese food places. And even the hibachi places, it's a little stickier. Which is a different element that I'm not used to. But it's super flavorful. The bulgogi in there is actually really good itself. Yeah, there's one. There's the bulgogi. Oh yeah, yeah, you get the soy on that. Look how much is in here too. You can't even see it because I'm like holding the thing the wrong way, but look how much is in it. That's all beef. They don't skimp you. They don't skimp you at all. This, this is it's worth it. It is really worth it. Y'all never scare me wrong. Keep dropping them in the comments where you want me to go text because let me get back over here. That's really good, man. So, and it's unique. If you've never had food of this nature, it doesn't taste like Chinese food. It doesn't taste like hibachi. It tastes unique. The seasonings taste unique. Obviously, yes, it's got a Korean background. And I know Korean, the, the food in Korea is really good, but it, it it's definitely going mainstream. I see a lot of people eating kimchi now, which is something I've always enjoyed. And their kimchi is really good. But that double fry on there, that is top, top, top stuff. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. That's a bite. Pork buns. I can't get enough of this. I honestly thought it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be this good. This is a place that I'm definitely going to go to again, and again, and again, and again. Some of the better wings I've, I've had as far as franchise joints. I've had a lot of wings. If you're new to the channel, you know, I mean, <laughs> you might not know, but I, I, wings are also my thing. That's unbelievable. Why are you still locked? Go get it. <laughs> no. Also, I never had this. I used to get these when I was younger, actually. But how these work is there's got an opener on it. This is orange flavored. Um, it's, it's soda, but it's like got a different taste to it. It's made with real sugar. And what you're supposed to do is you take this little thing out. There's a top on there, which I already took off. And you just, see if I can do this right and not break my face open. Nope, we can't. 
That's why you get trying to be cute. All right, let's just do it. There we go. And the carbonation comes out, and the little bad boy comes floating here. I actually got this. I used to do box swaps with people um, in my early days on Instagram. Um, and there was a place that sent me a bunch of snacks from uh, Asia, from Japan, Korea. And they actually had this in here. Now, the flavor they had was lychee, which I don't really like lychee flavor stuff. It's got like a weird florally taste to it. But this, as you can see, is orange. Now, they must have maybe Americanized this because when I had it, the letters weren't in English. So hopefully they're making their way over here. Yeah, so it's got a USA product of Japan, but it's uh, imported to California. Bet. Now, the crazy part, that is really good. It's so refreshing. It doesn't allow you to drink a lot of it because the plug comes up, but it, it carbonates every sip. You can hear that. And I've always thought these were really dope. So when I saw it, I had to pick one up. Oh, that's really good, man. But you can see the thing floating. It doesn't go to the bottom, so it's right there on the top, kind of rolling around. But it keeps your drinks from losing their carbonation very fast. And also keeps us uh, Americans, because you know us, I mean, look at me here, from over drinking, <laughs> chugging soda as well, because this one little bottle is like 100 and, 110 calories. Why am I talking so much? Oh yeah, because that's all I do is talk. Sorry guys. These kind of mukbangs for me are more like reviews than anything. So, I like to go through everything. I like to describe because it's new for me too. I haven't had any of this. So I usually go through everything, describe, and now we're on to the portion where I just start picking at stuff and running my mouth. This is totally worth it though. I never thought I would say that, you know, $14 fried rice is worth it. That tastes like $14 fried rice though. And I can't get enough of that blue boogie, man. I was actually gonna get extra on the side. Thinking I need thinking I need to put more in there. I don't. This is really, 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 really good. Mmm. I'm trying to think of something similar that I've had that I can compare it to, but I can't. Because it does, like I said, it's not like Chinese food. Where the heck was this for the last, I don't know, 25 years? Back in my, like, really, people might not know this, you know, some people do. I don't really talk about it a lot, but I was the chubby kid growing up. Not the, but a chubby kid. And, well, I ate a lot. I didn't think that it would turn into anything <laughs> like this, but it did. But if this place existed when I was in high school, it would have been dinner a lot. I would used to be in the school play. Yeah, that's right, me. And me and one of my close friends, we had a bunch of athletes that were in it. We kind of started to, uh, well, a little backstory. I, didn't, I wasn't really into like musicals or acting or anything like that, but one of my close friends in the basketball team was in West Side Story. So that year of West Side Story, which you don't know it's a musical, so we were looking for people to be in the stage crew. Um, so I decided to join because <laughs> this is the truth. If you were in the stage crew, you got out of class for a week because you put on the school play, this is high school, for all the elementary schools and then you had another day you put it on for uh, the, middle, the middle school. So you were out of class for quintessentially like three or four days. You didn't go to class at all. So I'm like, yeah, I'm with that. Spicy mayo in a dumpling, goaded by the way. So that was the first year, that was my sophomore year. The next year, Same thing happens, but this time, because auditions were in January, uh, my dude, my friend, decided to, he, well, after practice, he's like, yo, I'm going to audition. You know, we all hung out after practice, we were boys. He's like, so I gotta stop over there real quick, you know, for for a roll. So like, all right. So he comes out. 
and I'm laughing because I can hear him singing in the, you know, <laughs> in, the, in the thing. And I'm like, oh, you think you can sing? You know, making fun of him. And he like, jokingly was like, I sing better than you. <laughs> when people do that to me, like I just, I, I'm competitive. So I'm like, all right, I'm about to go in there like I'm Ursher or something. <laughs> so I'm knocking the door. The director, I asked her, I said, hey, are, is it okay if I, I read? Um, you know, some lines and, and do a song for you. She's like, yes, yeah. so I close the door. I don't know. I just started singing, bro. <laughs> so, <laughs> crazy enough, you know, I could see her eyes. Like, she was like, because that wasn't me. I've always been an outspoken, an outrovert, you know, kind of person, but not singing and stuff. So I'm reading the lines, I'm singing, I can see in her eyes, she's like, wow, in her face, but I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, wow, she might like give me a role. <laughs> so the next day, right, we were playing uh, you know, NBA 2K. There's like 2K2 or 3 or whatever. Um We used to do that like on school days, and then we would all like whoever night, like we all would like stay over and like go to school. So we'll go in the morning. The director in first period comes to my class ask the teacher hey you know is it okay if I see Dave for a couple minutes and I'm like you know I'm, I'm confused I'm like I, I, didn't, I didn't get in trouble did I you know what I'm saying because like when teachers came and saw me it never was really good news but to my surprise I go outside and she's like hey you know I really liked your audition yesterday um how serious are you about doing you want to be in the play so I was like, cool, she's gonna give me a role. And I'm, she's like, she's like, how serious are you being to play? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm cool with you. She's like, would you be committed to doing it? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna half ASS it. So whatever you give me, I'm cool with it. She's like, listen, I don't have a background in this, but how would you feel about being the lead? <laughs> Bro, I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, we're doing Grease this year. I was like, wait, so I gotta be John Travolta? <laughs> She's like, yes, there's a lot of songs and you have to be on stage by yourself in certain times singing by yourself. Most times in musicals, it's like a, but if you're the lead, there's usually like two or three songs where it's just you. And in Greece, specifically, anybody who's familiar with Greece, my man Travolta, Danny Zuko, yes, I played the role, gets stranded at the drive-in, branded a fool. <laughs> What will they say Monday at school? <laughs> so I did it. I was in a school play. Me. And I did it my senior year. There's another play called Crazy For You. Um, I had to learn how to tap dance. <laughs> this is all crazy stuff. Um, I used to have the tape, but my house, it burned down. But you can ask anybody if they do know me. What I'm telling you is 100% true. Um, I never thought that, but I, I truthfully, Looking back at things I've done, you know, athletically, academically, that is right up there with something that I am the most proud of. And not necessarily as a flex, but because it was something that was completely out of my comfort zone. It was something that I had never done before. So I did it for two years, junior and senior year, and When I watch movies, TV shows, musicals, people on Broadway, the amount of practice that you put into those roles, the amount of reading lines, messing up, hours and hours, you know, of rehearsal, scene blocking, uh, you know, reading your lines, getting to read without your lines, dress rehearsals, like so much stuff. And I mean this, anybody who's ever participated in a movie, a musical, whatever, respect. Because as an athlete, that stuff came like nothing to me, you know, because that's what I did. But that was so tedious, so much work. And sort of like an athlete, you're doing it all for a short show time. You know, you, you put on a show for a week, sometimes three, four days. And the amount of hours that we put into that, I would come straight from basketball practice Sorry, be done at 5 p.m., 6 p.m., whatever. And the whole point of the story was, which I'm getting to now, 
I used to get a 20 piece chicken uh, wings from KFC. They used to have wings back then too. They had spicy barbecue wings. If this was about around back then, I used to sit there on the front of the stage, right? Eating wings, me and my boy. And that's 20 piece each. And that was our dinner. This would have been my dinner. I would have been much chubbier than I was now. Also, imagine a black dude playing John Travolta with the tight jeans. <laughs> that was real tough, though. Uh, that was really cool that it did. My parents watched it. You know, it was awesome to do, to put the show on. And the thing I remember the most, if you're not familiar with the play, long story short, Danny, my role, John Travolta, is the leader of a gang, you know, bikers, greasers, called the T-Birds. And over the summer going into school, he falls in love with like a, a, a girl who is not one of them, basically. She's an outsider. So he starts trying to act cool, so it puts her off, so then he starts trying to win her back by doing different things. One of the things he does, he joins attractive. And then in, in this movie, he starts running around with a cigarette in his mouth. So I had to do that. And this is part of the funniest thing. I had to put on a track uniform. 1960s track uniforms are like, like super skimpy. So I had to run around the auditorium and then up onto the stage in these white shorts and a white tank top. I looked like a ballerina. And every day we put that on, <laughs> the women in the crowd would start catcalling and I had to stop for like two or three minutes before I had to read my line. My mom went to all three shows and she wasn't very happy about it. She said, you should have heard what them little girls were trying to say about you and stuff they wanted to do. I was about to say something to She really did say that. <laughs> but I don't know, man. That was like, you know, I, I played and I'm again not flexing, but you know, I played football games in front of large crowds, football games on, on national TV, ESPN. Um, you know, I, I always was a good student, and I'm proud of those things, but that is right there with those, bar none. And if you've ever been in a play, if you've ever had to put on a show, anything like that. You know, I, I know some people now who are doing like off-Broadway stuff because I still live around New York City, and I have so much respect for anybody who puts that time into their craft like that. You know, I, I really, they pushed me to, to be better. I'm going to tap dance. Like I can still do ball changes and stuff like not joking. And sorry, my nose is running from the spicy. Um, I have so much respect for anybody who puts any amount of time into their craft. I don't care if you play, you know, the call of duty. <laughs> like if you play professionally, I know what that takes, you know, and anybody who, whether it's weightlifting or you're an artist or you draw, or if you're committed to a craft like that, that kind of dedication, like respect and anybody who isn't find what you're passionate about you know that wasn't my passion but i still appreciated it and i i, I gave it my all because i didn't want to let anyone down but anybody who doesn't have that kind of grind that kind of passion for something try stuff out and, and you'll see like what you can do with yourself and it'll have so much effect on everything else that you do in your life you know and you'll find something that you're really passionate about and you'll be able to have a, a, a career in something that yes, it's going to take work and it's never easy. And I can tell you that from my own experiences, but the grind is so much more worth it when you love what you do. You know, this might not look like work, but it is work. <laughs> and it's something that I'm passionate about. I love food. You can hear how I talk and how excited I get when I cook something, when I try something, that's not fake. And it's something that I'm passionate about. And as you have, can see, if you've been here for the last few months with the content, there has been things that have changed. Um, I'm never gonna change who I am, but I'm talking about like presentation wise, uh, content wise, um, editing wise, just things of that nature. And, and it's something that I'm passionate about and I want to, to be good at it. I'm not talking about from a sense of subscribers or views. To me, if your content's good, that stuff comes. But if, you're passionate about something and it shows in your work, you know, you take pride in that. And it's something that, you know, I'm not used to YouTube. I was doing Instagram. So for me, but I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this ride. Um, I don't know what the hell it's going to do with anything, but at the same time, 
I'm just as passionate about this as I am about fitness, my actual day job, my career, and every day, even though I'm tired, <laughs> I'm so tired, I'm so happy to get up and go to work. And it's, it's tiring, yes, it's exhausting, and it's a grind, but it never feels like work. This is a, can you believe that I can do this as a part of my living? Like, <laughs> for me, like some people, like, who's just food, for me, this is a dream, man. And then so is, you know, being able to work people out and train people and change people's lives in, in my day job, which I'm wearing my actual hoodie because I didn't even take it off um, from being at work, you know, and that's going well. Facility number two, we're putting the finishing touches on it and then here we go. But that is going to be the end of the video, man. I just, I had to try this stuff and I recommend this to anybody. If you get near a Bonchon, like, I'm about to go camp out. That's ridiculous. Wow. But... Super good. Everything on the menu. I'm definitely going back. 100%. I will see you guys. Possibly not tomorrow. We might do something tomorrow, but there will be no eating challenge time is coming. So, anyway. Thank you so much, guys. We'll be back. More content. I still have this pile of food. The hand signs have made it to YouTube.